This is a brief video tutorial on how to access the Pearson eText teacher portal to assign texts through the Pearson eText icon on the student's web page, uh, student's iPads. Start by going to Safari, and in Safari, you will go to Savas, and you can see there that it's uh, savas.com. It will take you to the uh, first page. Click on Sign In. On the Sign In page, you do not need to use username and password. Instead, access the site using the Savas Easy Bridge Plus and Auto button. At that point, when you go in, if Elkhart Community School District is not filled in that form, click on the form and type in Elkhart, and it will default to Elkhart Community School District. Click on Go to continue. The system will use your Google credentials and automatically sign you in to the uh, Savas Realize site. At this point, you will need to click on the system that you are using. I am using, for this case, My View Literacy Grade 4. Click on that, and it brings us to all the different materials that are available to you. We will just start with Unit 1 as an example. I will click into Unit 1 to start searching for the information that I would like to publish to my students. Let's just say that it is the Week 1 Autobiography. Click on that. At this point, it's broken down into the Lessons. And let's go into Lesson 1. And here are the different pieces that you can assign. Not only can you assign a reading, but you may assign workshops book club, which are the trade books, as well as other pieces of the Pearson curriculum. For this case, I'm only going to launch, assign the genre narrative nonfiction, so I click on the button, click on assign, and I come to the assignment button. At this point, I must give a start date, so I will start it for Monday coming up. And we have a due date, so you would type in whatever you wanted for the due date with instructions that you would have. At this point, it's asking you on the right side, where am I assigning this activity? If you click in there, I know my class name is Reading, and it automatically pops up to be Grade 4 Reading. If you're 5th grade, it would probably be Grade 5 Reading. If you're 2nd grade, more than likely Grade 2 Reading. So that will go to my reading class, and you'll notice at the bottom down here it says assign. And now this activity is assigned to my reading class. At this point, if you would like to see what is assigned, you can click on classes. And it was the grade 4 reading class is where I assigned it. I'm going to click on assignments. And it shows me that this one has been assigned as well as something that I assigned earlier today. At this point, the students would need to log in using their Pearson eText, sign in using their credentials from Google, and they would have a list of assignments that are waiting for them. Thank you, and I hope this helps.